This is how the town of Trostanets, which has been recently liberated from Russian invaders, looks now. It had been under a blockade of Russian troops for almost a month. Putin's army shelled the town using all kinds of weapons. Dozens of destroyed Russian army vehicles, including tanks and heavy artillery, were either abandoned behind by the retreating forces or destroyed. Residents say that the city was mercilessly bombed and residential buildings were destroyed. Personally, I have not seen much. In the area beyond the railway station, many residential buildings were damaged. Personally, three missiles flew into my place. Now Ukrainian soldiers are checking the occupiers' abandoned vans. The state emergency service personnel are removing boxes of ammunition from the streets. Residents say that during the day the Russian soldiers shot at residential neighborhoods and at night they went door to door and took food from people. What happened here, our entire town was occupied by, as we call them, orcs or Russians. In this square there were tanks beyond this building, after the bus station there was artillery, and here were the militias of the so-called Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics. In the evenings they came to us, to our houses and our basements, and stole our pickles, potatoes, lard and cucumbers. Active fighting took place in Torstenets for about a month. As a result, the population is facing a humanitarian crisis. As you can see, there were battles here over the past months. Projectiles were flying cover and people were saying they were frightened. They were left without food and water. There was a horrible humanitarian situation. Now that there are no flyovers or shellings in the last three days, perhaps it is getting better. Local emergency services were able to arrive and we will do everything in our power to help them. We will follow the situation and do our best to help the people.